Hello everyone, it's Lucy here from the RSPB and I'm here today at Coombs Valley Reserve in Staffordshire. Now I'm sure you're all aware that autumn is upon us and there's all sorts of nature treasures to discover in this brilliant season, it's one of my favourites. And one of the best things to do, which also makes a great Halloween and half term activity, is to go on a fungi hunt. Okay, so first of all, what actually are fungi? Well, they're a really weird group of organisms and we most often encounter them in the form of mushrooms or toadstools. We have over 15,000 species in the UK and they live everywhere from the soil to wood to plants to animals to water, they're even in the air. And at this time of year, after summer, when all the plants are breaking down, it's the perfect time to go out mushroom hunting. So, I'm going to find five species that should be easy to ID, see if you can spot them. Okay, fungi number one is this beauty. Now this is the birch polypore, and as you can see, it grows to be absolutely humongous. Look at the size of that next to my hand. It grows on dead birch, and it does actually kill birch trees, which might sound bad, but it's actually a really good thing because so many different types of insects rely on rotting wood like birch, and birds like the lesser spotted woodpecker will excavate their nest hole in them. Now, the alternative name of this fungus is the razor strop fungus. And that's because if you break it off and let it dry, it is so tough, you can actually use it to buff metal. So people used to polish old-fashioned cutthroat razors with this fungus. How cool is that? Number two is this gang of weird looking things. Now there's a few species that all look quite similar, but these are the earth balls. I like to call them ground spuds because they look a little bit like weird warty potatoes. Um, you'll find them in clusters like this on the ground and these ones are quite young, you can hear. They sound like little bongos. Um, but as they get older, they'll weaken and they'll go all wrinkly and gross. And then when you flick them, they'll burst and release their spores all over the forest. They're absolutely brilliant things. Okay, for number three, I'll have to crouch down and that's because it's this beauty. This is the Amethyst Deceiver. It can be a really, really bright purple as is suggested by the name. Um, and the best place to look for it is under beech trees. So if you can identify a beech tree by its leaf, have a root around in the leaf litter and you might see these mushrooms poking out. Um, there's often hundreds around and as they get older and drier, they can turn really, really pale purple and almost white. So see if you can spot one. Okay, I found fungi number four, and this is a brilliant one for Halloween. It's extra spooky. Um, once again, it's down low, so I'm gonna flip the camera around to show you. Okay, hopefully you can see this. This is a dead man's finger. It's such a weird looking fungus, look at that. Pretty sure you can tell where it gets its name from, these spooky looking fingers that protrude out of dead wood. So check out any logs when you find them, and you might just spot one. And I'm down on the floor again for number five. Now, when we say mushroom or fungi or toadstool, it tends to be this that you picture. This iconic mushroom is the fly agaric. Now, normally it's got quite a few more white spots than this, and we have just had a heavy bout of rain, so they do tend to wipe off. Fly agaric, Amanita muscaria, keep an eye out for this time of year. It's the perfect fungi to round off the mushroom hunt. Well, there you go, that's five iconic fungi to find on an autumn walk this half term. Now, when you're looking at fungi, remember to be safe, don't taste anything and always wash your hands afterwards. And if you'd like to learn a little bit more, you can get a fungi guide. Now, this one's a bit chunky, a bit in depth, but on the RSPB's website, we have got a fungi part of our wild challenge. So you can download the sheet for free, work out what you're looking at and see how many you can tick off. Thanks very much for watching and enjoy your mushroom hunt.